All right, we're going to look now at how you can express different angles uh, around uh, one rotation here in radians. We've already looked at how one radian is the angle that you have in the center here when the arc length is equal to the radius. And if you move around that circle, we flip over here. As you move around that circle, obviously the angle increases as that arc length increases. But how can we express those different things? Like this, this is just showing this in decimal format here. This is actually approximation. This should truthfully be an approximately equal to sign here because it involves, uh, there, there's more decimals there. If I uh, go halfway around here, this is going to be the key here. We looked at how halfway around is pi radians. So we're going to use that fact to express some of the other angles here. The fact that you have 180 degrees is equal to pi, this fact right here. So to do that, let's uh, get a scale that we can use. So let's turn off the angle. Let's turn off the radii and the arc. And let's put a degree scale here, make it a bit smaller, and then we'll grab a snapshot of that very quickly here, if we can. All right, there we go. Now, so we said we have zero starting over here, zero radians obviously, and we said that over here was pi radians. You can say it's exactly pi radians or you can say it's approximately 3.14 radians. You can rate it as a decimal or a fraction. If this is pi, you could think of this as one pi, one times pi, because halfway around is one times pi, all the way around is 2 times pi. All right, so one full turn could be 2 pi. Let's get rid of the 0. We know that that's 0. We can say that this is 2 pi radians, or we can say that it is roughly 6.28 radians. All right, so you can write it as an exact value in terms of pi, or you can write it as an approximate decimal. All right, that's, that's that. Now, some of the other ones around here, if this is 1 pi, then what's this right here? It's not drawn very well. Let's try one more time there. That is, this is half of pi, whatever half of pi is. All right, you could say it's approximately 1.57 radians. Or if you want to write it as an exact value, you can say it's 1 half pi. Or you can say it's pi divided by 2. All right? That's what those ones are. That's what that one is up there. You can say it a couple different ways. And so this is 1 half of pi. This is pi, or 2 halves of pi. Right? You can kind of think of this as, you could actually say that this one's 2 pi over 2. Right? It's half of 2 pi. 2 pi over 2. So if you kind of think of it as counting by pi over 2s, right? Pi over 2, 2 pi over 2. This is going to be 3 pi over 2 down here. That's 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2. Or it's whatever 3 times as much as this is, which I think is roughly 4.71. All right, so again, exact value or approximate value. You can express them either way. Of course, you could say something like 1.5 pi, or you could say 3 halves times pi. Lots of different ways you could write it. Now, let's grab a different color and write some of the other ones here. Let's write these ones that are right in the middle here that don't have an actual line here, but 45 degrees here. 45 degrees. 45 degrees is going to be half as much as this is. All right, that was pi over 2, a half pi. So this is going to be a quarter pi one quarter pi, or you could write it as pi divided by four. All right, I'm not gonna worry about what the decimal approximations are there, because you could work it out. Just go to your calculator and see what that is, pi divided by four. And then one that's related to that is on this side. Okay, 135 degrees there, 135 degrees. Well, if this is pi over four or one pi over four, this would be 2 pi over 4, right? You could call this one 2 pi over 4. This is going to be 3 pi over 4. Just think about it as counting by counting by pi over 4s around there, right? 
1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, right? 2 halves, or 4 pi over 4, right? If that helps think. Because then we can do this one right there, 225 degrees. That could be, no, it could be, it is, 5 pi over 4, or 1 and a quarter pi. This, if you keep going here, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4. This one's going to be 7 pi over 4 in here. Oops, not drawn very well. Well, that's the most crooked straight line I've ever drawn. And that's not much better, but it'll do. 315 degrees. That's going to be, let's count from the start again here. We have, let's use a different color here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pi over 4, all the way to there. 7 quarters, right? Or 7 pi over 4. You can call that 7 pi over 4. All right, so those ones that are related to 45 degrees, they're all to do with pi over 4. Now, if we keep going with this idea here, let's go purple with the, let's try this 30 degrees here, okay? 30 degrees. I'm not going to put the lines in the center because I think it's going to get us pretty crowded pretty quickly here. Oh, maybe I will. I guess it doesn't hurt. That one right there. Related to 30 degrees. Well, let's think about this. If halfway around is pi and 30 degrees, 30 degrees is one sixth of that. All right? 30 degrees out of 180 degrees, it's one sixth of that, so that this is going to be called pi over sixth or one sixth of pi. You could actually call it 30 pi over 180 and then just think, well, if I reduce 30 over 180, it's pi over 6. You can do that for any degree amount if you want to turn it into an exact value fraction. You can, any degree amount, you can just make whatever, pi over 180. You want 27 degrees? 27 pi over 180 by that same logic. All right, but let's stick to our special angles here. 30 degrees is pi over 6 or 1 6 pi. And then we do 60 degrees up here. 60 degrees, you could call, go way over here. 60 degrees, you, you could write as, well, you could write it as 2 pi over 6. Or you could write, I'm going to draw in a different color here because I'm going to think of this differently, pi over 3. 2 pi over 6 or pi over 3, right? If we keep going here, we already have this one, 3, you know, 90 degrees. 90 degrees, again, if we were following around with this, we could call it, 3 pi over 6, but that's not good. We already have we already have it in lowest terms here, 1 pi over 2. If we get this one up here, well, we have 4 pi over 6, or in lowest terms, you're going to call that one, at 120 degrees, you're going to call it 2 pi over 3. 4 pi over 6 is like 2 pi over 3. And we keep going here, we have 150 degrees, except I should stick to the color scheme here, I think. I was drawing in purple. 150 degrees, 5 pi over 6. I erased my red line there. Let's put it back. All right, we keep going here. 6 pi over 6. already got the name for that is 1 pi, right? You could call it 6 pi over 6, or 3 pi over 3, or 2 pi over 2, or whatever. So we're counting by 30 degrees. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. 210 is going to be the next one that's related to 30 degrees. That one's going to be called 7 pi over 6. And then the next one here is going to be called, let's go out here, 8 pi over 6, or in lowest terms, you're going to call that one 4 pi over 3. And if you keep going here, well, we got 9 pi over 6, and then 10 pi over 6. 300 degrees, whoa, 10 pi over 6, or if you put that in lowest terms, 5 pi over 3. And then I think the last but not least here, 330 degrees is going to be 11 pi over 6. All right, so you can write them in, you can write them as exact value fractions, right? Or you can write them as 
decimal approximations. Now, I didn't write the decimal approximations down here because if you want them, it might help to know. It might help to know some of these um, some of these common ones. Obviously, like pi is 3.14 roughly, and half of pi is 1.57, and one and a half pi is 4.71, and all the way around is 6.28. But I don't know how much it helps to sort of memorize each of the other decimal approximations. But it is going to help you to know some of these common ones, right? Some of the common special angles. 30 degrees is pi over 6. 45 degrees is pi over 4. 60 degrees is pi over 3. And then all the other ones are related to that, right? Now, oops, I missed this one. That's a pretty important one. Pi over 2, pi. But all the other ones are related to it. You just count by whatever you're looking at. There's all these ones that are related to 30 degrees here, right? or sorry, 60 degrees. There's 60 degrees, there's 120 degrees, right? That's 2 pi over 3. 180 degrees is 3 pi over 3, I didn't write it down here. Um, 240 was 4 pi over 3. 300 was 5 pi over 3. All right, you can count by all the way around there, and this would be 6 pi over 3. 360 degrees. Anyways, get get comfortable, get familiar with using those pi fractions because it's a, a quick and easy way to work with things when you don't always have to resort to your calculator. All right? Oh, and one more thing here before we're done. I think it would be a great idea if you made a really nice picture of this because this is a mess now. If you have a bigger piece of paper, maybe color code it and everything like that and put some of the common special angles, right? Put all the angles related to pi over 3 and label them. Put all the angles related to pi over 6 and label them. Put all the angles related to pi over 4 and label them on there. That would be a good idea. 45 degrees all the way around. All right? Good task for you. And that is it.